Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how uh, to solve any Carnot map or any Carnot map okay in a very easy way. So we're going to use uh, you know a calculator online calculator in which you input like the truth table and this calculator will uh, give you uh, like the final equations and even draw for you or sketch for you the Carnot map with the simplifications done in there okay uh you might do carno map like for small uh, like problems maybe three inputs two inputs but when when you have like four inputs uh and multiple outputs like eight outputs or seven outputs like a seven segment display for example or maybe five inputs you know you're gonna have like very big carno maps with very basically very difficult to you know solve by yourself Okay, without, you know, you can solve, but you might have some errors, okay? So, fortunately, there are, like, uh, some online calculators that can do that for you, called Logisim, okay? Uh, I knew this uh, calculator from a video that I watched, uh, and I'm going to also leave the video for you. It's a very good video. Uh, but this video, like... Uh, you know, talks about other stuff as well. So I'm going to just concentrate on the logism and very credit to him, like, uh, to show us this, uh, like, uh, way. Okay, so how to basically use logism? First, you want to install it. So as you see in the screen here, this is logism. Okay, I'm going to leave this uh, link in the description. Uh, you can also search for it, logism, and it's, you know, the main website will appear for you and the link for that uh, website here will also uh, be available out there okay then you can download okay and but and install of course but uh, to install it you need to have like uh, java uh, version 8 or maybe higher so uh, you need also uh, to install java it's very simple like uh, 10 seconds you know and i'm gonna also leave this uh, link in the description as well okay so i already did that I installed basically uh, Logisim. So let's see how to use it. So uh, we have Mr. Logisim here, and okay, and we have also a problem, you know, uh, to do. So uh, let's basically do a very simple problem first. Okay, I'm gonna do like an AND gate. Of course, we know the AND gate is very easy, but let's do it, you know, together. So. Uh, after opening Logisim, okay, uh, you can find it here, Logi, just like Logisim, and it should appear to you. Just open it. So go to Project menu here, Project tab, and Analyze Circuit. Okay, I'm gonna do very simple, like three input and end gate. You know, very easy. So uh, let's assume the inputs is uh, A, uh, B. See, and it doesn't have to be like capital letters, but I just to differentiate between input and output. We're gonna do the inputs as capital, the output as uh, small letters. Okay, output just one output for the end gate. Let's call it Y or whatever Y. Okay, add, and then you enter the truth table. Okay, and you know the end gate is very easy. You know everything is zero except the last case, which in all all the inputs are ones is one. So this is zero, just a click, or you can click, or you, if you go with arrows, you know, the you can convert this don't to care. This is not X, by the way, this is a don't care. You know, in the, in a kernel map, you can input zero, one, or don't cares, okay? In this example, we don't have don't cares, but the next example that we're gonna do, which is more complex, which is seven segment display, it's gonna have many don't cares. So everything is zero, except the last case will be one. Okay, then you write, or I'm sorry, click build the circuit. Uh, you can call it whatever, like call it and gate, for example. You know, uh, and also you can uh, get the output using only two input uh, gates or base is a circuit or only NAND gates. You know, in some lesson, we're going to learn that uh, we can implement any logic gate using NAND gate or NOR gate, you know. So we don't need any of that. So we'll just okay here. Okay, and here is a circuit. And end gate, as we expected, with three inputs. 
Okay, what is the expression? As we, uh, you know, assumed y equal to a, b, c, a and b and c. Uh, we can e even see the Carnot map. Okay, so the Carnot map, of course, this is a three uh, input uh, uh, logic gate. So we have eight squares in the Carnot map. So, or the Carnot map is two by four, you can say. It has only one, which is that guy here. And uh, this one is basically A. And the one one here means BC. Okay, very simple. Okay, let's have another example, more complicated one. So in this example, uh, we're gonna explore the seven segment display. The seven segment display has uh, four, 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 uh, four inputs because it's a for one segment, seven segment display, it, it, it can show the digits from zero to nine. The highest number here, the largest number is nine. Nine is one, zero, zero, one, which is four bits. So this circuit has four inputs. Good. But how many outputs we ha you have? You have seven outputs because seven, it's a seven segment, right? So there are seven segments there. Each segment is an output. Okay. So you have seven outputs. So for and for for each one of these outputs, it will gonna uh, turn on or off at a certain uh, in in a certain case, okay, based on basically the number you in the input. Uh, so for example, in eight, in case like uh, if the input is eight, which is uh, zero one zero zero, in that case, all of them will turn on. In some other cases, like one, only two on the side here will will be on, and the others will be off. So each one of these outputs has its own circuit that depend on somehow on the input, okay? So you have to do the Carnot map how many times? Seven times. And this Carnot map will be uh, with 16 squares. So it will be a four by four like matrix. Okay, so it's it's very, you know, tedious. And of course, error as well, okay? So uh, we're gonna open a website like and this website has already solved the Carnot uh, or the Carnot map for us. This one here. So in this site here, you have the Carnot map and also the. So here is a you know the seven segment. It had seven uh, inputs. Of course, the ground is we don't care about it. So will be just connected to zero all the time. So these are the inputs that we have. And here is the uh, seven segments. I'm sorry, this is uh, uh, this is the fifth segment itself. So the seven segment itself, you know, has uh, seven segment and each segment is controlled using one of these lines or bins, okay? These bins will be controlled using four inputs, a circuit that has four inputs, okay? And here are all the cases. So if we name these seven segment uh, with small letters like this, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, okay, each according to the digit, you're gonna have uh, some of them on, some of them are off. Like in the case, this case here, this is number one, B, C are on, the others are off. The others are off means zero. And this uh, B, and C are, uh, are on means B is equal to one, C is equal to one. This is another example too. Everything is on here except F and C will have zeros. The others have ones and so on. Okay. And here is the design. I'm going to see it now. So this is basically the truth table. You have here the truth table. Is, it's a truncated. I'm going to explain why. Because this is a zero case. A minimum number. The minimum digit that should show in the output. And the highest is nine. One, zero, zero, one. Okay. So what will be the other cases as, as we learned it in our lessons in digital design about uh, Carnot map, when you have unrepresented like case, we just about don't care, okay? So I'm gonna see how to do this now, this now. Okay, and for each output, you're gonna have like, for example, for the A output here, you're gonna forget about this part, just take this part here four inputs with nine with 10 cases and one output then you're gonna draw the kernel maps okay remember in the case of one zero one zero and so on until one 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 you have don't cares okay so these don't cares 
you know, can be considered one or zero or just left without any touching according to the simplifications that you want. So, for example, for this green rectangle here, because if we take only these four ones, it's going to have uh, an extra input. But if we have like this big rect uh, green rectangle, you're going to have, you're going to reduce the inputs, okay, by one. Okay. Uh, so you will have to do this seven times, as, as as we mentioned. And this will be the circuit at the end. So how we can do this very simply, very simply using like logism in like one minute. Okay. So let's see. Again, we're going to go to project and analyze the circuit. Uh, inputs. We have four inputs. So let's, let's add another one. So we have uh, ABC. Let's call them ABCD. Okay, yeah, A, B, C, D. So we're going to have another one here, add. And for the outputs, let's remove this and enter them A, B, C, D until G. So A, B, C, D. You can press enter, by the way. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. When you press enter, already add is, uh, is highlighted. So it uh, it's, it's, it's like clicking add. Good. So you have now the outputs. Let's see now the true step. Look at the true step. This is a complete. So the one on the uh, right here is just truncated, right? So for that truth table here, we're going to use only the first 10 cases from 0 to 9. 0 to 9 is 10, you know? So, and all these uh, left cases will be uh, from here, I'm sorry, will be only don't cares. Okay? So I'm going to do something here, not to. Uh, make any mistake yes i'm gonna reduce the size until just the case that we want and just enter these here okay so we need here one not zero uh, so everything is one except the last uh, input g i'm sorry output g is zero then zero one one and everything is zero again then one one zero one one zero one then uh, four ones one 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 zero zero one uh, then uh, okay what we have here we have this case in here which is uh, okay uh, zero one one zero zero one one then the next case is one zero one one zero one one then the following case is one zero and everything is one the next case is one 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 zero 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 then everything is one in here then one 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 zero one one okay and just leave the others that don't care so this is that complete truth table now okay so let's just check here. Uh, we have one zero one one zero, and everything is one. That's correct. We have everything is one. Is in zero zero three ones. One one zero one three. Okay, everything is one. One zero one one zero one one zero one one. Then one zero one zero 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 one zero zero one zero and one three zero three ones zero one one and G is also correct. Okay, correct. Okay, let's now this is a truth table and without any further like uh, tedious work, you just build the circuit. We can call it, for example, um, seven segment two because i did this already so i don't want to mess with uh, my previous project okay let's check the expressions for a well let's even see the minimization itself so this is the uh, output a here so it's equal to a uh, plus b d so we have this already we plus c that's correct plus b b bar d bar Okay, that's correct. So the order, of course, is different, but same exhibition. So let's take B. 
So we have B bar, C bar, D bar, C D. That's correct. Let's take C now. C bar, B and D. That's also correct. Let's go to D. A. We have B bar, D bar in both. B bar, D bar, B bar, D bar. B bar, C. C, D bar. And B, C bar, D. B, C bar, D. That's correct. Let's take E now. That's easy. B bar, D bar. And C, D bar. That's correct. And this was E. So F now. A. Uh, B, D bar. B, C bar. C bar, D bar. That's correct. In G, I know there will be a difference. I'm going to explain now. Okay, for G. This is good. So we have A. That's correct. We have B, D bar. Oh, we don't have B, D bar here. Okay. What we have? We have B, C bar. Or uh, B, yeah, B, C bar. B, C bar here. And B, C bar here. And we have B bar, C. B bar, C. So there is a difference now. So the expression here has B, D bar. Which is not here, obviously. And we have here C, D bar, which is not here, obviously. Why? Uh, by the way, both are 100% correct. But this is very good to mention. So the, because you can do the simplification in two equal way, but with, with, with a result on, with different result. Okay. So let's take a look at the simplification that is done here and here. Okay. So. The, this blue rectangle is basically this purple or pink or whatever, you know, magenta. Uh, this big one here. Okay. Now for the yellow, this yellow rectangle, you know that Carnot map is, is, uh, is like continuous, you know. It's like a circle. They are connected. So the, we can take these two ones with these two X's considering them as ones. So this is basically this orange this orange rectangle with this orange rectangle. Now, uh, this red uh, rectangle, uh, square, basically, it's a green here. Okay, what's the difference? The difference is this green rectangle, and it can be done in two ways. This green rectangle and these two purple-like rectangles. They are equivalent, but with, it's, it's, they will result in different expressions. So, let's see. Uh, what what is what what is, what's behind this big green rectangle? We have these two ones. The first one, which is here, is already taken in that yellow uh, box. So we're gonna left left with this one. So we need to minimize. To minimize, you try to maximize the number of ones you take in a rectangle or a square. So we have two options. The first option is to consider these two x's as ones, and then draw a, a, this green rectangle about it and this will result in uh, basically uh, c d bar okay you have another option you know that the kernel map is continuous they are connected so that edge is connected to that edge it's like that and that edge is also connected to that edge it's like that so we can take you can consider this x as one and this x as one then take uh, a square like this similar to this yellow boxes one like that and one like that so take these two with these two this is what happened with the with the magenta color here okay and in that case uh, basically what you what you end up with for for uh, in the row case we have a change in a but b is the same so b and that here we have zero and we have here one zero zero so b d bar okay b d bar which is uh, expression in here okay that's why they are equivalent to each other okay but remember uh, this uh, with this video was about logism this tool this magic tool actually you know that will save you a lot of time doing this carnot maps yourself okay you can still you do yourself but please use the logism to basically uh, verify that your answer is correct, okay? Or even determine if you have some uh, mistake and try to correct it. So you're gonna perfect more doing Carnot maps.
Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.